Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Corn here. And I have a thrift store haul for y'all. I actually went two weeks ago, and do you all do this? Do you all put the, you know, even if it's a small haul, because this is, if you put your bags aside and you leave them out, and to remind you, you have a haul to do. You can't put it up yet. And then you're like, well, because remember Handsome and I went away for a little while and stuff. And it was like, well, I'll get to it. And then I thought, corn, get those bags out the floor. <laughs> so it's a small haul. But um, at this thrift store I went to, first off, I have a wonderful, they're narrow. Let's see. Yeah shelves that go up for about a yard it's about three feet by i don't know a foot and a half some shelves that i got for four dollars and 99 cents and they're solid pine you all but they're too big for me to show you guys but they're solid pine there is a little bit of hand painting on it i'm going to say this is from the 80s um and i am going to redo it but solid pine shelves that I could put, if I end up putting it in the craft room is what I want it to do, but I might not be able to do it. Um, just some small um, containers, cute containers, you know, with crafting items in it, or I could put it elsewhere with some goodies on them. But you know, they're, to get pine, solid pine for $4.99, I was just tickle pink to find those. This that I have displayed for you, I saw this, they have a clearance section at this thrift store. And I saw these and they went from $4.99 to 99 cents. And as you can tell, if you, if you look at the picture, it's with the design, I'm gonna say 60s or 70s. And with that design, um, this is what is on the bottom. So there are, uh, it's called T for Two, and it is hand-painted, and it says Japan. And it only, they went from $4.99 to $0.99 cents because it only has one lid. Now this lid fits your sugar bowl, but you could put it on the picture if you wanted. But I looked at it, and you know, that's McCullough's, but I was still like, nah, I don't know. So I said, if you go throughout the whole store and you don't, you know, and it's not gone, you come back to it, which takes me a while to look at everything. If that happens and it's still there, then it's meant for you to take home. So I'm serious. I was looking at books big time and... um linens and everything like that and I came back around and there it was so I said fine what I could do is put my little miniature uh, they look like wild roses to me from Dollar Tree in there and set them up for my little display here on YouTube so but what I used to have but I donated it I used to have a resin cake that I actually did hand painting on that would have been precious there but that's gone. <laughs> I have a china piece of cake up in the craft room, but I didn't bring that down. So there are uh, roses. Some roses are edible to my knowledge. So, <laughs> but you also see it is lacking. Yes, a teacup and saucer. We've got the dessert plate, the sugar and the crema and the pitcher, but you know what I mean? So I thought they were darling and for 99 cents they came home with me and for 39 cents do you all ever do this do you all ever look and see what was under their price this was originally at Walmart for 33 cents they sold it for 39 you know you can't get it and look the original price was a dollar 20 you all know I do get the hem facing and wash it and then use it and uh, my paper crafting. 
They also had for 39 cents. That's one price you can get quite a few things for. These were originally two dollars. You get six feet and the ribbon, it's a wrapping ribbon, is was three quarters of an inch and there's the color which is iridescent. And remember if you see me when I do my wrapping of either giveaways or birthday gifts or what have you, I do something with this ribbon a lot and it's getting rarer and rarer to find except for around Christmas. And then this one was it's 24 feet long and it was originally $1.25. And you know I have a lot of pink around me for 39 cents. Then this adorable doily, look at that, for 99 cents. Isn't that precious? And whenever I get linens, I go ahead and wash them and iron them. And, but I don't starch them. And a lot of women who donate these or their families donate them, they starch them. Look how lovely that is. And part of me doesn't want to get rid of that, but the other part says, no, it has to be cleaned. <laughs> so I found that. Let's put that here so you can see how pretty it is. Then, now this they wanted $14.99 for this beautiful flower rose. And as you can see, even though it is, you know, lovely made so lovely there is a chip right here but to me it is not a prominent one where it's like a straight one which is really boy that your eye goes straight to that and here's what's underneath and this is made in England and of course as you know white goes with everything so I thought it'd be beautiful here for display purposes Originally $14.99, and I got it for $0.10. Cents. That's rare for them to do that, but because of it being damaged, they, you know, something, I think they were thinking something's better than nothing, so I know. I know, and it is such a delicate piece. It really is. And then I went to the book section, well, they had this book out by itself, and it is called The Nine Months Wonder. I think this is fascinating. This is on the side of it. It has seen better days. This was originally $3.99. I got it for $0.25. Cents. And as you see, look, <laughs> I... It was originally $2.95, and this says, you know, um, they want you to open this up. There is the original cover. It is adorable, you all. It is, I mean, now, it's funny anyway, but especially now, this was written in, or published in 1958. There you go. And look how adorable this book is. And you know what I'm going to do. And I know some people are going to say, corn, shame on you. Look at all the diapers hanging on the line. Look at the artwork, you all. And I love she's, am I? Am I expecting? <laughs> look at the bunny, y'all, with the little pregnancy top on. <laughs> I just, I just said, I didn't even question it. I don't even look, I think I looked at two pages and put it in the cart. I was like, for that price. And for all that's there, look at that from the 50s. Look at the outfit. You still have your tight skirt, but then if you're painting, you have that super full top on. I just saw, and the color pink, and the baby, and I just thought... Not only do I absolutely adore this book, but I thought you all would too. What to do if you don't like milk? <laughs> look at this, look at this. 
If you carry it low, it's a boy. Maybe you won't believe this, but a fast heartbeat means it's a girl. I just love that. I love that. And this... <laughs> Look at this picture. Hmm, what am I? What am I? All right, real quick, I'll read this, and then I know y'all are going to probably say, okay, that's enough, Corn. you spent enough time. But it says, if the doctor could examine the baby now, he'd know if you're carrying a son or a daughter. But the only sure, safe way of finding that out so far is to wait until it's born. Then observe closely what's below the abdomen. <laughs> just thought that was perfect <laughs> and then for those of you who find this as charming as I do I will continue to thumb through I just love it love it and I also found another book and this is treasury of virtues courage love and honesty and oh my goodness it is, as you see, it has seen some better days. It, it has. Oh, it's kind of rough looking. But wait till you see. And again, I will not be selling anything. So the illustrators are okay. But just the chickens and the chicks alone. And the cats. And, you know, just... I will thumb through it as quickly as I can. Just the ephemera on the bottom of some of the pages. Just to cut that out. For ephemera is just yummy. Just some fantastic illustrations. Oh, look at the lambs and the sheep. Oh, they're so precious. And the wolf. Just really darling. I thought. Let me thumb through quicker. Beautiful horse. Bears like Midge loves from Midge's Mountain Crabs. And, oh, The Ugly Duckling is one of my favorite stories. And look at the garden. Look at the roses to cut out. Just, there is just so many riches in this book. This was 90, they wanted um, $2.99, and then I got it for 99 cents. Oop, these pages are folded over, but as you all know, we don't care about that. So just even just to cut out this bow over here on the right, just, you know what I mean? Fantastic. And last but not least is my favorite find. This was 25 cents, y'all. Now, I do, you know, I will wash everything up properly, but I do take... A white paper damp paper towel just to go over things because I don't want to show you all how dirty certain things are but look at this y'all isn't that just you don't get any more shabby chic than this I think uh, 90s on this one too and it's gonna need some more love because when you have it up like this you can see there's a little bit of dust in here but it wasn't too dirty to begin with, but isn't that precious for 25 cents? I was like, oh, and even scalloped edges. And I thought this would be adorable here and maybe put, you know, some shout outs in it. Remember I had that little clipboard that I usually do that with, but wouldn't this be darling? Or also maybe just to put in there, you know, which haul I'm doing or something. Like this would be adorable to say, you know, thrift store haul and then the date or something like that. But isn't that adorable, y'all? I love stuff like this. Love it. So like I said, it's tiny. But I hope I found some things that you thought were interesting. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.